Hi guys, it's Awana Turtle, and today we're wrapping up our second booster box of Ravnica Allegiance. Uh, so far, the openings have been okay. We the first box ended up pretty being pretty good. We actually got a foil mythic. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, I recommend go back and look for it. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty happy with the result. <clears throat> and so, oh, there we go. Uh, First mythic of the video, and we got the Rakdos the Showstopper. And this is actually a card that we pulled from the previous box as well. Spoiler alert. But it wasn't the foil. Alright, strong start. Well, I can't say I'm loving this set. Definitely always when something new comes out though, it's just it's just fun to crack a bunch of packs and see what we can pull. Biggest hit again is the the Hydra, the Hydro Crisis. All right, got a Spy, Rambling Ruin, Clan Guild Mage, and then Bedevil, pretty good pull. I think can destroy almost anything. I guess I just can't do an enchantment or land, but on that, it's pretty versatile removal. Okay, for next one we got Eyes Everywhere, Resolute Watchdog, and then Terramander. And Simic Ascendancy. The Terramander, as far as uncommons go, it's uh, pretty good. For one drop, one drop flying. You can adapt, but that's very expensive. Okay, dagger caster, street dodger, sky tether. Ooh, nice, hallowed fountain. First one of that shock land. So we got the blue white shock. And actually, that that art's pretty cool. Okay, we got a Clamor Shaman, the Blood Mist Infiltrator, very nice, Code of Constraint, and then Gutter Bones, another pretty cool one drop. Light up the stage, nice, another one of the better mythics, it's actually worth something. Spire Mangler, and then Ethereal Absolution. Not familiar with this one. So we have an enchantment for six. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Creatures your opponent controls get minus one, minus one. Oh, interesting. Exile target cre target card from your opponent's graveyard for four. If it was a creature card, you can create one, one token. Hmm. a little too expensive but cool card nonetheless troll troll guardian street dodger sky tether again defender and loses chain of creature has defender and loses flying i guess it's only for one but that's biomancer's familiar it's a very strange art and a foil land foils over here for a second i thought it was going to be a shock that would be amazing, or would have been amazing. Okay. Clan Crusher, Troll Bread Guardian, Swirling Torrent, and then a Smothering Tithe. A lot of enchantment, enchantments in the set.
feel like the bar for a viable enchantment though is pretty high. There's usually a couple easy ways to get rid of them that, are, that can be boarded in. All right, we got the Incubation Druid. Add one man of any type and that land control you can produce. If Incubation Druid has plus one, plus one, add three mana of that type instead. And you can adapt for five. Got another foil. All right, light up the stage, nice. Gyre Engineer, Fireblade Artist, and the Tome of the Guild back. The five mana artifact that can, that can give you one mana. And then the, I guess you, it is a draw engine, but it's still too expensive. All right, High Alert. Orzhov Enforcer. Kilt Guild Mage, Electro Dominance. I feel like this is a cool card. I think it started around eight and now it's like down to five. Hoping for it to bounce back up. The weird thing is like when it comes to like various formats, like when it comes to burn, you kind of just use like the cheapest, cheapest burn possible. And so like, I feel like this thing kind of it requires a lot of mana. It requires you to, to, to gain a lot of value out of it. You have to use high costing spells. But I feel it goes against Spawn of Mayhem. Nice. It, which kind of goes against, uh, you know, how burn typically works. Man, so, okay. So we got two mythics and both of these mythics were ones that we pulled from the first box. Uh, the Racto Showstopper wasn't too crazy about, but this one definitely very, very happy with. I think it's sitting around like twelve dollars right now and we have a foil common so two mythics in the opening very nice spawn of mayhem can be a four four that's for three for a spectacle it does have flying and trample all right rally to battle flames of the raised boar Sphinx of the Guild Pack and Sphinx of Foresight. So many, so many dupes. I don't know how many rares are in all together, but I feel like we're getting a lot of dupes. This one I'm a fan of. I feel like the Sphinx could find a happy home in some kind of like mid range. Oh, that's a creepy art. All right, in range, Saratok, Gatebreaker Ram, and then Lavina, another one that we've already gotten from the first box. Ah, so we did pull, pull a, a foil mythic, so let's see if we can repeat that. All right, depose and deploy. Wayfinder, Carnival and Carnage, Bethnic Biomancer. All right, we got two packs left. I feel like this one, this box is weaker than the first one. By considerable margin. Sphinx of the New Prov. Scrambling Claws, Spirit of the Spire. Ooh, yes! Oh, we got the the best mythic in this set. Hydro Crisis. I feel like I recognize the card. It took me a second to register. Like, didn't believe it at first that we pulled it. Very nice. So, for a green, blue, and then X. As per usual, the X equals the power and the toughness has flying and trample however half of x you um you draw that many cards and you gain that much life round it down but very very good pull all right and for the final pack we got the gateway sneak Ooh, high alert guild mage and then Priests of the Forgotten Gods. Actually, I haven't seen this one yet. Human Cleric, 
Uh, for two, a one-two for two. Tap for sacrifice two creatures. Any number of target creature, no target players each lose two life and sacrifice a creature. Then add black black and draw a card. Okay, so you lose two creatures. I guess if you have tokens. Um, any number of target players lose two life, sacrifice one of their own creatures, and then add, uh, if there's like a control deck with a lot of tokens, maybe, but seems like a quite a high cost to leverage. Or it doesn't do it by enough by itself without, when you can't activate that ability. Uh, so pretty good, wrapping up, pretty good uh, way to wrap up the opening. Let's see, we got a Bedevil, we got Electro Dominance, Hallow Fountain Shockland, for Mythics we got the Rakdos Showstopper again, Spawn of Mayhem again, and the biggest pull, the Hydroid Crisis. I think it's sitting around mid 30s right now. So very happy with that. And that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching guys. If you did enjoy the content, please drop a like um, And if you want to see more of these openings definitely subscribe hit that notification button And we're going to be doing this for a little bit of time and on that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time later